let's talk a little bit about design changes, manufacturing, and quality control. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome back to the shop. Not a woodworking video, a tool video, not a review. About a week and a half ago from the publishing of this video, Mark Spagnolo with The Wood Whisperer did a review of a bunch of miter gauges. I can't remember how many, but there was a bunch. Um, Mark was probably one of the first people I subscribed to on YouTube as a woodworker. Um, I've trusted his opinion over, over the years. Uh, so, in full disclosure, he also mentioned the fact that he bought all of the miter gauges with his own money, and he Rockler is a sponsor. He did a rock review of the Rockler. He wasn't incredibly client. He wasn't terribly kind about it because it had some real issues. That's why I trust him. He, he basically full disclosure, and here's what I found. What shocked me was the Craig miter miter gauge, the Craig. He found that the, the miter bar and the, and the miter gauge itself were out of square by a few thou, maybe more than a few thou. If you look at this picture, you can see him testing the miter gauge face to the miter bar. And it's touching the, face, the bar at the bottom, but it's a gap at the top. So it's out of square to itself. Um, this was not only the one he bought, but it was one the uh, same, same amount of uh, lack of precision with the one that was sent to him by Craig to replace it. And I have that jig, that, excuse me, I have that fence. I've had this for 15 or 20 years. Now, what Craig did was they made a design change. Look at this picture here, you can see there are two knobs for fastening the miter fence to the miter gauge and nothing else. So if the miter gauge is out of square, your fence is out of square. This is mine. You notice I have the two knobs for attaching it to the, the gauge to the fence. But you note this two quarter twenty socket head screws outside of those knobs. That's how you adjust it. You can loosen things up and move those, move those screws in and out so you get it absolutely perpendicular to your blade, your fence, and your, and your table, table saw. Why, Craig? I mean, that was a really elegant way to, uh, to, to solve an adjustment problem. It's really easy to do. Um, it doesn't take but a couple of minutes to, to, to make the adjustments. Um, that indicates to me that quality control is having an issue at Craig. Now, these are made in the U.S. Craig's stuff is made in the U.S. Can't blame China. And the problem I see is quality control in testing before the final product goes out the door. And let me show you where I think that quality control is falling down. Miter gauge, fence. This is the tightening screw to, to lock it in place. It pivots on one bolt right here, which is a fairly precise bolt fastening the miter bar to the, to the miter gauge. How you index it is you loosen this, you pull this pin out, rotate it, and there is, put the pin back in, there's 10 degrees. Rotate it back, put it back in, and back to zero, tighten it down. That comes up square every single time in mine. Now, what, tell, what, what I'm thinking is going on here is these holes that are drilled into the miter gauge itself are off by a few thou either one direction or the other so that the fence will not index completely and correctly with the miter bar. That's my, that's my assessment anyway. So I, I, link, I linked Mark's video in the description. Uh, the Craig jig, excuse me, the Craig miter gauge review starts at the 16 minute 30 second mark. One more thing about the, uh, the, the alignment pin and holes on the miter gauge itself. This is a very precise fit. When you slide those in, loosen it up, this, it, it barely, it does move a little bit. But when you push down on it and clamp it like this, it's right back where it was. And I found no problem of it being aligned after I've done that. So either the holes in the back on the miter gauge itself are slightly misdrilled, or the hole in the miter bar is slightly misdrilled, one or the other. In the case of Mark's, it's, it's only two data points, but there's two in a row that had the same problem. So Craig, I hope you're paying attention. 
get on the quality control a little better. Um, I'm really happy with the one I have. I wouldn't part with it. I actually had an Incra, the one that goes all the way across your saw. I got rid of that because it goes all the way across your saw. I tried the Bora, the one with the triangular system on that, and I found it to be okay, but it was, it was not as um, robust as I like. It, you could, it could move a little bit when you put wood against it, at least the one I had. So then I settled on the Craig. Bought it at a woodworking show, of course. So that's it. Um, so until next time, make great things out of wood. Check your miter gauge. Make sure it's square to your, to your saw.